It's time for the final episode. Columbus, Ohio. We've arrived at episode 100. Stick around to the end if you want to find out what comes after Affordable America. Columbus, Ohio, where the median cost of a home is $260,000, the average household income is about $70,000, and the average age is 32.4, likely because of the Ohio State University. This past spring, Columbus was number two or three on the Realtor.com Hotness Index. This is an index giving you an idea how much buyer competition exists in a market. We've dropped to 16, but it's still quite competitive here. Here's the first home I went to check out. It's located in the Milo Grogan neighborhood. It's a renovation, so it was staged with tiny furniture. I really like the job they did on the kitchen and they added a half bath on the main floor. Three bedrooms upstairs, an office size room, and the roof looks pretty good. Just down the road was 934 Fest, which is held outside of the 934 Art Gallery. I'm a big fan of a lot of the neighborhoods that are close to the center of Columbus. And here was my pick for the most affordable option. This one was located in the Carnes Park neighborhood. It's also a total renovation, not my favorite color schemes, but most flips these days don't even come with the appliances. The rooms were decent size and they updated some of the major mechanicals. It also had a matching bright blue garage. And you're just down the street from the original Donato's. We square cut our pizza, y'all. And there are multiple programs where you could get a loan on a property like that with no money down. Niche.com gives Columbus, Ohio an A-. Vote Morgan Harper, y'all. Columbus has a lot of love for the LGBTQ community, with one of the largest pride celebrations in the Midwest. Columbus is also welcoming to refugees, with the second largest Somali population in the country. Central Ohio has also seen an increase in the number of high-paying jobs. And Columbus is a little blue island in a big sea of red. Thanks to everyone who watched Affordable America, commented, participated, shared the episodes. I really do appreciate it. The series has come to a close, but that doesn't mean it's over. Just season one has completed. We're going to expand the series Homestead Hunters. And also there's some new series in the works that I haven't quite finalized yet. But thank you again. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel at offbeatagent.tv.